Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my November favorites and I'm gonna get started with beauty. I don't know about any of you, but for me, November has turned into the month of beauty. There are just so many sales going on for the holidays. Sephora VIB has their sale, Nordstrom was running a sale, Neiman Marcus was running some sort of price matching and so I ended up picking up quite a few things that I thought I'd share with you today. Uh, the first one is this foundation from Bobbi Brown. It's the Intensive Skin Serum Foundation and it comes in this newly repackaged um, version <laughs> since I had purchased this years ago and when it first was released and it came with like a dropper and not only was it messy but it was I couldn't get the product out after like halfway through I had to like pour it out of the bottle which was even more messy so I ended up not going back to it but I really always loved it and um, they did reformulate it and it is kind of a cross between a skincare product and a foundation and I would say it's sort of medium coverage I have it on today um, I apply it with a beauty blender so for me it's more like light to medium coverage but they finally got it right and did a pump bottle which is super super not messy I've got a few little drops on there because I'm a messy person but um, um, compared to what the packaging used to be like, this is like a miracle. So I am super in love with this. I have it in the shade Natural Tan. And um, I also have with that the corrector and concealer in the Intensive Skin Serum version. So um, these come in. They haven't changed the packaging on these. I got these during the Sephora VIB sale. I have the corrector in the color Peach Bisque, which... Um, they say if you have more like blue under your eyes or around your eyes for dark circles, you should go with a more peach, no, with a more bisky color. And if you have um, more sort of darker browns under your eyes, you should go for more peach color. I was blessed with both. Um, so I go for the peachier, pinkier kind of mix or hybrid. And that is what I find kind of works best for me. And today this is all I have on. I did not use the concealer, but I have the concealer in the color natural. And you really should use the corrector to kind of um, conceal dark circles and then go over it with a concealer to kind of um, give your get your skin back to like a normal shade. But because I apply it with a damp beauty blender, it really I don't do like a full coverage with my concealer. I never have. I don't like wearing concealers because I find they settle into your lines and um, for me it always ends up creasing. I've tried every single type of concealer that people say doesn't crease and it creases on me. I have oily eyelids to begin with and sometimes I think it gets down sort of the side of my eye and I just, I don't love concealers, but these are really kind of liquidy and they go on and you can really um, get it into the skin well, set it with a little powder and you will not get creases so really loving this product and hopefully because there are skincare benefits in all of these products they're doing something good for my skin as well another product I picked up um, this was from Nord no not Nordstrom from Neiman Marcus during their beauty sale um, was the new Chanel um, Coco Flash in the color boy and it comes in this beautiful package this is the old boy I wanted to just compare the two so the packaging is almost the same the top used to just have the white CC and now you can kind of see a little bit of the color of what lipstick you're opening which is great for when you're storing your lipsticks to find the one you want but I kind of prefer the old packaging I'm kind of old school that way I like the black and white Chanel but whatever. Um, so here is the new boy and I'm not wearing it today but I have been wearing it quite a bit and I'm gonna just compare the two. Here's the old boy in this hand and the new boy in this hand and you can kind of see on camera hopefully this one is a, the old boy is a little bit more pink undertone and the new boy is a little bit more brown undertone but they're really really similar. Um, the sales associate told me they did, ooh, I'm putting the wrong cover on the wrong one. Um, the sales associate told me that they did reformulate um, the lipstick itself, so it is even more moisturizing than it was previously, but they are both just great nude colors that you can apply without a mirror, and they just give your lips a lot of moisture, a lot of shine, and I love them. So I will continue to repurchase the new one once I get through all of my old ones and um, yeah, really happy that I'm happy with the new boy lipsticks. 
And the other lipstick I purchased during the month of November that I'm wearing today is this beautiful red shade from Tom Ford. This is the Lost Cherry lip color. This is a limited edition lip color. You'll probably still be able to get it after the holidays, but it's in this beautiful red that you probably can't see on camera, but it does have some little flecks of um, shimmer in there. You can't really see it on camera, but it's absolutely stunning. The packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. It's quite pricey but I got it during the Sephora VIB sale so I got 20% off and still quite pricey but I always pick up a nice red lipstick for the holidays and this year I'm absolutely loving this one and getting into some fragrances my fragrance favorite for this month that I just recently talked about in my um, fragrance collection video is the newly released Tom Ford Metallique and this is just, oh, the, the packaging is stunning. It is so high shine. It um, smells very, very bright and energizing when you put it on. I would say it is, it opens with more of a citrusy floral scent and then dries down into a warm musky vanilla scent and the two combined are just amazing. I'm absolutely loving it and I just saw some reviews about this where people have talked about the aldehydes in it and I didn't realize it was really a heavy aldehydic if that's a word, fragrance. Um, but like Chanel Number no. 5, which is one of my favorite fragrances, it opens with this burst of, I don't even know what to call it, but it's this burst of almost makes you wanna sneeze sort of <laughs> feeling that you get when you smell it. But then as it settles down, it just becomes um, even more and more beautiful. And so I love perfumes that sort of change as you wear them throughout the day. And you can really tell the difference between the opening and um, the dry down and whatever the middle is called, I don't know, but absolutely loving this fragrance. If you only get one fragrance this year for Christmas, this is the one I would take a look at or take a sniff because it's absolutely beautiful. And the other fragrance purchase I made this month that I'm absolutely in love with is this fragrance wardrobe by Maison Francis Kirkjean. And it comes in this beautiful package. And this is um, just a bunch of travel size fragrances. I wanna kinda of show you the packaging experience, the full experience here. It comes with this card that tells you a little bit about each fragrance. And I threw a little pouch in here that shouldn't be in here. This is just to hold the fragrances. Um, but here they are. They are, are eight beautiful scents and I'll go through what is in here with you. When I recently picked up my Baccarat 540 um, or Baccarat Rouge 540, I had sniffed a bunch of these and um, um, tried I, my arms were just covered with different fragrances and it was sort of hard to tell which one was which but I knew that I really loved the Baccarat Rouge the most and there was one that was sort of falling right behind it which I'll tell you about but um, it came with this beautiful packaging that kind of tells you about all the fragrances that are in here and a little about each fragrance I'm just gonna read off what's in here um, the Aqua Universalis is the second one I was really interested in, so I was really happy to see it came in this collection. The Aqua Celestia Forte, and I apologize if I'm getting any of these wrong. Um, that Those are two very fresh scents, I would say. There are two beautiful floral scents, the A La Rose and the Amaris Femme. Um, there's Gentle Fluidity Silver, which I thought I would love, but I find a little bit masculine, but I'm jury's still out on it. And then there's the Gentle Fluidity Gold, which is the other fragrance I was considering purchasing, and it came in this set. There's the Oud Silk Mood, which is a beautiful Oud fragrance, and I actually thought it was an Oud that I tried on called Oud Satin Mood. So I was a little disappointed that that wasn't the one that was in the set, but um, they both look and um, are named very similar, so I was mistaken. And then of course the Baccarat Rouge 540, which I love to death. So again, here's what they look like. The Baccarat Rouge, um, they're all in these little sprayer bottles and that is why I threw a little velvet pouch. The one disappointing thing about um, this set is that it didn't come with any kind of a protective kind of case for the sprayers. Uh, so if you are gonna travel with them, you do need to be careful. But I really wanted to get the smaller sort of travel version of this to put in my purse. So once again, here's what they look like in the bottles. Um, there's probably less than like half an ounce in each of these, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think to be able to kind of try out all of these different fragrances, I just love everything from this fragrance house. So having this is definitely a 
luxury that would be a great Christmas gift for anyone if uh, you're interested in buying someone a beautiful, luxurious um, beauty gift for Christmas or the holidays, I think this is a great one. So I think that is it for all of my beauty favorites this month. Getting into fashion, I have a couple of pieces that were gifted to me from Lily Silk, and um, since they gave me the choice of two items, I went for two things that I actually had already received from them and loved so much I wanted them in other colors, so I think that definitely makes them a favorite. The first is this sweater I'm wearing. This is just a really simple silk sweater that for me has become just a great basic that I wear all the time. It is perfect for like underneath a blazer when you don't want anything like wool or anything too too warm because the climate I live in, although it is very cold right now, it has really been going up and down. There are days when it's 40 degrees and days when it's 60, 70 degrees and so you never know what you're going to get and I find that silk is a great um, breathable natural fabric that just works well under things or works well alone and I had this in camel and I really wanted it in black so um, that is what one of the pieces I selected and then the other one that I have here is this silk shell and this is in the white color. This is something I wear all the time as just a basic for work. I wear it underneath blazers, I wear it underneath um, like long cardigans and things, and I had this in black, really wanted it in white. It's just really simple, and I like that this has a higher neckline because I really don't wear a lot of camisoles to work. I find them a little bit too revealing for the office, but I do love a silk shell that's sleeveless. Um, again, the climate I live in, sleeveless just works great, and I like the way it looks underneath things since I do tend to wear these as layering pieces, and you can't go wrong with anything silk. It's just such a beautiful, luxurious, breathable fabric, and I think Lily Silk does it really well, and I will definitely continue to repurchase more things from them in the future. And my last fashion favorite is a new pair of jeans. I decided to try out the skinny jeans from Everlane, and these, this particular pair are um, you can see they've been worn and I haven't washed them yet, but these are a pair of kind of vintage, dark, um, gray. It's really, I think they're a washed black, but they look come across as like a charcoal. These are the mid-rise skinny jeans, and these are in a denim that has a little bit of stretch, but they are very like old school denim. They don't stretch a lot, which I absolutely love. I find it like crazy to wear denim again after wearing so many stretchy like jegging types of jeans that really stretch out but then um, they kind of stretch out as you wear them and then they get a little loose and funky and don't really look great. These are bananas awesome in terms of <laughs> how great they look on and um, they are the perfect length. They come in an ankle length which is great for me. I did size up on them and I probably could have gone with my usual size. These are size 30. I normally am a 29 in jeans but I really really love them. Them and I intend to try to shrink them if I can a little bit in the wash but um, haven't even washed them yet I've been wearing them all the time and they are just so perfect I will definitely be getting more I got this pair actually on sale I was surprised they were on sale because there are other colors and things that were not on sale but I just thought this was such a great color for like fall and winter and I didn't have any gray jeans in my collection um, so not sure if they're still on sale but they are Again, like a washed black or a vintage washed black is what I think they were called. And I absolutely love these jeans. And I also should mention, these are the mid-rise. They do have a high rise, but because I am short-waisted, mid-rise is like my high rise. So it's perfect on me. And um, I will definitely be getting more of these in other colors. And last but not least, it wouldn't be a favorites video without my favorite handbag of the month, and that would have to be my Louis Vuitton Pochette Mati, which I have been wearing nonstop these past few weeks. It is just such a perfect bag. I love everything about this bag. I love the layout. I love how much it holds. I love um, that it kind of keeps everything very organized compared to, to a lot of my handbags. I just like um, the inside of this bag. You can see in the back there, I've just got my mini pochette and my um, agenda. I've got a pair of reading glasses. I'm kind of doing a what's in my bag now at this point. Um, I've got a little compact and my clay in the front there and just some miscellaneous things as well. But this kind of carries everything I need and then some. It is a perfect bag to wear crossbody or on your shoulder as a long shoulder bag. I've talked about it so much. 
I am really lucky in that mine has not had any of the issues with the glazing on the canvas, knock on wood, um, <laughs> but I've just been really enjoying this bag and I feel like it is like the perfect sort of colorway for the fall and um, has really gone well with all of my neutrals in my wardrobe and I just can't get enough of it. So my Pochette Mati would be my favorite bag of the month. So those are all of my November favorites. I thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, have a great week, a great day, and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye.